Hey, what is up guys? So if one side of my face looks like a freaking chipmunk, just ignore that. My wisdom teeth are coming in and it's messing me up, man. It's making my face super swollen, but no excuses, man. We want to get this video out there as soon as possible because it's pretty epic, guys. I can't look perfectly aesthetic all the time. You know what I mean? So from what I've seen, the bros over here on the vlog channel are super in to Tinder. So what I've decided to do is actually take you guys through one of my actual Tinder dates and give you some, but not all, of my tips and tricks. So as most of you guys have seen, if you watch my main channel, if you don't watch my main channel, man, you should. It's even more epic than this channel. I guess you could say I get a lot of girls in those videos, but the thing is, I only do it for the video, right? And to entertain and motivate you guys. This video is special because you get a look into my actual dating life. If you guys are interested, I wrote a full Tinder ebook with all my tips and tricks. It's available as a free bonus to my aesthetic bodybuilding and lifestyle guide, The Fuckable Physique. If you get it before Sunday, you can try for only $1. So go to this link. The link is also in the description. All right, so first let me show you guys my profile. I'm sure you would think that all my pictures are shirtless, but that is actually not the case. Yes, obviously girls like aesthetic physiques, right? But if all your pics are just boring gym selfies, Girls are gonna just think you're a boring douchebag. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna put a shirtless pic in your profile, make sure it's like an outdoor, natural looking picture. These kind of pictures give off a completely different vibe. It doesn't make you look like you're trying so hard. Other than that, I have a few more pictures. They're all different from one another, right? Um, so it makes me look kind of interesting and mysterious. You know what I mean? Girls like that. All right, so now for my bio. So if you guys have watched my most popular video on my main channel, you will get this joke. But if not, that's okay too, because that's not important. What's important is that it's a challenge, right? And it gives girls an incentive to message you first. Now still, most girls won't message you first, but more will than normal. All right, so I ended up matching with this girl and here's our conversation. Hello, LOL, hi, wavy emoji. I didn't know Clark Kent had a Tinder, this emoji. Promise you will never reveal my true identity. Hmm, I'll keep your secret, but you owe me, winky emoji. All right, how about if I buy you frozen yogurt, we can call it even. Sounds like a deal, smiley emoji. When? How about tomorrow afternoon? Here, message me on Snapchat at Murphy underscore Connor. I don't check Tinder that often. All right, so a few key points about this conversation. All right, never start off a conversation with just like hi or hey. All guys do that and it's boring, right? You gotta stand out. Seriously, like hundreds of guys are probably messaging these girls, right? Also, don't send some cheesy pickup line just for the same reason, right? For me, if I don't have anything to say, can't figure out anything good, I send a GIF. Also, after a few messages, get her to message you someplace other than Tinder, right? This actually makes you become kind of like a real person in her mind, right? Something other than just one of the, you know, one of the hundred guys on Tinder. Remember guys, all these tips I'm giving you are in my Tinder ebook along with a bunch of other ones, so keep that in mind. All right, so after this conversation, we messaged on Snapchat for a few minutes, basically just setting up the date. I asked her if she wanted to get some frozen yogurt, then play some pool, and then go for a swim. She was like, sure. So there are reasons why I picked this type of date, which you guys will find out in a minute. All right, so let's get to the Tinder date. All right, guys, about to head to the frozen yogurt place. I'm nervous as hell. I know you guys think that I look really confident in my videos and stuff, but I mean, I still get nervous, right? This girl is super hot. But hey, Alejandro, yo, you gotta do a good job at hiding, man. I would stay like way across the street or something. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll stay far away, man. But yeah, guys, I absolutely love frozen yogurt, so. Even if I'm awkward and the date goes horribly, at least I got some frozen yogurt, you know what I mean? That, that's a, it's a win no matter what. But yo, she can't see the wire, can she? No. I don't know if this shirt is too, I don't think she can see it. We got the wire hid pretty well, so this should be good. I'm nervous, bro, what if she's a catfish? What if she's not even real? All right, so seriously, are you gonna be like across the road or what? Hey, you gotta be across the road when we leave, cause, right? Yeah, so, dude, I'll be like behind you. Oh, behind us? Yeah, yeah, fuck that, I'm not gonna be in front. All right guys, so she messaged me, she's in there already waiting for me. We're a little late, because we're trying to get this whole camera thing set up, we're not sure where to film from, so I'm already late. Already off to not so good of a start, but we'll see if we can save the day. All right, let's go. All right, are we going? You're gonna take care of the rest? All right, all right. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right guys, so we were planning on filming from the outside with a good camera, but we did not plan it very well. Like the sun was in a bad position and we didn't know exactly where she was gonna be sitting. So Alejandro, my amazing cameraman, he improvised and actually went in there and started filming with his iPhone. Actually, can, can we get some sample cups? Yeah. 
Awesome, thank you. Having frozen yogurt is a great way to start the date because it is macro friendly for all you guys trying to build an aesthetic physique. And it's also super casual, right? So it doesn't put a lot of pressure on the date like if you were taking her out to a fancy restaurant. How are you not getting a brain freeze from this? What, are you getting a brain freeze right now? Yes. No way. I think it, it might just be because I'm so like hot that it kind of canceled it out. <laughs> that was a really bad joke. <laughs> I don't know, mate, I'm telling you, I just have some special uh, superpowers or something. I think so. <laughs> All right, yeah, so let's get this to go because okay. I don't really like the vibe in here. It looks like a high school birthday party. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm a little cooler than that, right? So let's, uh, let's get this and we'll walk to the pool place, you know? We're going to play some pool. So I decided we should take the frozen yogurt to go so we could actually be doing something instead of just sitting there. Actually, doing something on your date makes things way less awkward than just sitting there. And yo, as you guys can tell from my videos, I'm pretty awkward and cringy sometimes. So I need to utilize this tip as much as possible. Yo, and if the audio sounds bad sometimes, that's because Alejandro had to film from a long ways away so we didn't get caught. So um, our camera only has a specific range, so that's why the audio might have cut off sometimes. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I was creeping on your Instagram. Really? Yes. And <laughs> I saw something about your cops. <laughs> the cops? Yeah, I, I don't know, I'm a- uh... Like on six or something? Yeah, I get in trouble a lot. You should watch out for me. My friend actually went to jail. He got like processed and everything? Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but I, yeah, I was put in handcuffs. It was crazy. Like, I don't know, sometimes handcuffs are cool, you know, but not then. I, I didn't like it in that situation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get you. What, uh, what made you swipe right? Well, I like athletic guys. Well, I mean, you were like muscular, and I look for that. Really? Because like, I mean, I can put up a fight, but like not <laughs> oh, like a I got six you. foot five. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like if someone grabs my ass on six, I want someone to like you. Yeah, you want someone to protect you. Okay, I can handle them. I'm not, I'm not much of a fighter, but like I, for you, I would be willing to make an exception, you know? But see, that's completely, that is not why I swiped on you. I swiped on you because of your beautiful personality. You know, you know what I mean? Was I funny? I tried to be funny. Yeah, you were so oh funny. God, it was all about your personality. Freaking... I also watch like the Viners, like uh, Logan Paul and them, okay. um, just because yeah. <laughs> they make cool, fun vlogs, and I, I like to incorporate. So a lot of what I watch is to learn from. All right, so we get to my apartment and we start to play some pool. Are you good with sticks? <laughs> what? I, that wasn't even that wasn't even meant to be sexual, and I know you took it sexual. <laughs> Pool is a great addition to the date because as I said before, you're actually doing something, right? So you can fill the awkward silences with some pool shots. So you didn't think I was a catfish when we when you saw me on Tinder? Well, I mean, honestly, I saw the um, drag queen thing. I saw like, oh yeah, he's a drag queen. And then I saw that, and then I was just like, it's right. <laughs> See, I have trouble getting dates because everyone thinks that I'm a catfish. No, no joke, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is the quality of your photos like too good? You think so? Maybe that's what it is. Also, most girls aren't very good at pool, so you can show them how it's done. I'll give you another chance, all right, all right. I need to, I think you need some help. Show me how you're gonna do it. Set up, set up, let me see your form. Go for it. Here, you can, you can place it wherever you want. Let's see, let's try and hit the 10 in. Or no, let's hit the 11 in. So let's put it over here. And we're gonna hit the 11 in. So show me how you'd line up. So this is a great way to start introducing touch into the date, which is actually pretty important, man. If you're not touching the girl during the date, like you're gonna seem either like super unconfident or that you're just not into her. And it's basically a one-way ticket to the friend zone. And all right, so you're, you're aimed up way to the right. You need to aim up a little to the left, right like that. Does that feel good? That's what she said. <laughs> okay, uh, this, it feels good, right? It feels comfortable. Like this feels comfortable right now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think you're good. Go for it. Go for it. It was close, but you know, it's it's the. Um, are you in school? Yeah. Well, really? You go to UT? Oh no. You like UT? Yeah. You do? I think UT are, uh, UT are, I think they're haters, man. I think they're haters. I go to, well, I just graduated. I did go to Southwestern in Georgetown. But um, I'm actually banned from UT. What? <laughs> I am, I'm actually banned from UT. I, uh, I was filming and they ended up not liking me filming. They said they didn't like me filming there, but I think it was just because they were jealous of the aesthetics, you know? Gregory Jim. So after pool, we decided to go to the pool. So we make a quick stop by my apartment to change into my swimsuit real quick. This is actually a really good move because now the girl is more comfortable with my place 
which will be even more likely to come up there after the date. Now, from here on out, you will not be able to hear the audio because I left the mic up in the room because I don't want her to like see the mic when I take my shirt off, right? All right, guys, so I think you all know why I chose this part of the date. Obviously, because I get to show off these things. But hey, I get to do it in a non-douchebag way, unlike normally. All right, it's acceptable because you're supposed to be shirtless in the pool. It's actually weird if you're not shirtless around the pool. All right, guys, so if you're gonna chill with a girl by the pool, don't just chill with her by the pool, man. Do something exciting. Just sitting there talking is pretty boring. So, you know, do some bodybuilding poses with her if you're into that, you know, jump in the pool with her, stuff like that. Be fun, be exciting. All right, girls like that. So after messing around in the pool for a little bit, we need something to dry off with. So we head back to my apartment to get some towels. So after that, we innocently played Monopoly for the next two minutes, I, I, I mean half hour. It, it, was, it was at least a half hour. And um, I won. And yo, if you guys wanna see some behind the scenes footage of Connor Murphy videos, like all the trouble Alejandro had to go through to film this, or like on 6th Street, like behind the scenes, yo, check out Alejandro's channel. It is super funny. Link will be in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to check out the Fuckable Physique if you want my free ebook, Tinder Cheat Codes. So yeah, guys, basically this whole date, we followed the steps in my Tinder ebook. So if you guys want to have some success like this, yo, you guys got to get my free ebook, Tinder Cheat Codes. If you get it before Sunday, you can actually try the Fuckable Physique for just $1. So go check it out. Link in the description and right here. So yeah, guys. That was my Tinder date. I love you guys. Like this video if you're about to get a ton more Tinder matches and dates. And please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.